What's up everyone, Anwar Thinks Back once again and today I'm going to tell you about the lottery winners who ended up in prison. Now the story starts in my hometown of Bolton when two friends, John Watson and Mark Goodrum decided, hey, let's go down to London and beg for some money because we'll make loads of money begging in London. And while they were down in London, they decided, hey, let's go to the shop and buy ourselves a scratch card. And when they did, they won four million pounds. Four million pounds. So they scratch it off. They get all excited, as you would do. You've just won four million pounds. They ring up the lotto hotline to tell them, hey, we've just won the four million pounds. They tell them all the information they need. And then they go, great. What's your bank details? We'll send the money over to you. And they go, oh, I don't have bank details. Now, that in itself doesn't sound suspicious until the person on the other end of the phone was like, well, it says here that you bought this ticket with a bank card. Whose bank card was it? This is where their story starts to unravel. The lottery put in place an investigation because they can't just give out four million pounds. They put the scratch card on hold pending the investigation and then the police get involved. When the police get involved, they find that they used a stolen bank card to buy the ticket. So not only can they not get the £4 million, they're also now in trouble with the law for using someone else's money fraudulently. Right, so we've got the footage right here, right now. Check this out. I actually feel a little bit sorry for them because can you imagine how excited you would be winning £4 million? Let's go watch the video as they scratch it off and find out they've won. So, as you can see here, they're scratching it off on the counter. They're having a look, they're having a little look between each other. Hey, have we just won that? Fist bumping. They're a little bit excited, giddy. I can't blame them. I'd be giddy too. Fist pumping again, elbow. Oh, no, we can't believe it. He's doing a little bit of a jig. He's looking down at it again. Let's look at all the information he's probably saying to him. That's what I'd be saying. I'd be absolutely overjoyed. But the difference is, hopefully, I wouldn't be using a stolen credit card. The shopkeeper comes over, he wants to have a look, they're showing it. Can you imagine that feeling? Just winning four fast. Look at the geyser! Jumping up and down for joy. You can see the date it happened 2019, the 22nd of April. Both of them absolutely jumping for joy. Literally. Oh. It's a little bit painful to watch, isn't it? Now, what do you think of this case? Do you think unlucky lads or do you think they got they're just desserts. People are calling them Britain's dumbest criminals, whether that's the case or not. That's for somebody else to decide. Hey, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell. That way, every time I make a video, you'll be the first person who hears about it. And with that, I am out. Thank you very, very much for watching.